There we are. Good morning. For those of you that catch up with us when we um, when we decide what time our version of sort of nine o'clock is, we'll be good. Anyway, it's great to be back with Richard. Um, Richard's returned from Welsh Wales. <laughs> yes, indeed. Got across the border. Uh, my good. visa was correct, uh, happily. Jolly good. And you, you had a restful time, I'm hoping. Whilst you were yeah, away. it's uh, really good. It's really great to get the break and um, I'm very blessed by having the cottage that we're able to go to because uh, it doesn't have a phone signal. No. It really so helps. Yes, yes. It is quite interesting being cut off from, from Tinterweb and stuff. It's quite, it's quite interesting. Yes, good, 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 good. And you'll be glad that Richard is back, so you haven't just got me uh, if, you're, if you're joining us. So that's all wonderful. Um, we're going to be using this morning, we're going to use Psalm 5. Um, if you want to carry on with the full set of Psalms for today, that's 6 and 8. 8 will be very familiar to you. Um, the, as we continue through the Apocrypha, it, we're up to Tobit chapter 4. Uh, the, um, the, if you haven't got the Apocrypha in your Bible, then Micah 2 is the Old Testament reading set for today. We're going to be reading from John chapter 17, starting at verse six excellent so let's take a moment to welcome the presence of god into our hearts our minds so, O oh lord open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise richard and i will say the song of god's righteousness Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God. For to you I make and my prayer. prayer. Sorry, sorry, Richard. Distracted by a plumber. <laughs> In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the Lord who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, Cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. 
you will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. It's John chapter 17, beginning at verse 6. And Jesus continues. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you have sent me, that you sent me. I'm asking on their behalf. I'm not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I, pro I protected them in your name, so that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost except the one destined to be lost so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you, and I speak these things in the world so that they may have joy have my joy made complete in themselves i have given them your word and the world has hated them because they do not belong to the world just as i do not belong to the world i'm not asking you to take them out of the world but i ask you to protect them from the evil one they do not belong to the world just as i do not belong to the world Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself so that they also may be sanctified in truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments. That I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. They were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. They were faithful unto death, 
and God has given them the crown of life. So we come to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the church, for the world, for our own needs. Lord, we much news around us of, of thoughts of the budget. So often our, uh, the, the inner workings of our minds and our hearts are displayed by where our money goes. So Lord, may you uh, be with us as a nation, in our governments, in, in our own uh, feelings and thoughts and how we express them. Lord, may you guide us as we look to how, as a nation, we face the challenges that we have of balancing the books, of, of, of supporting those most in need. Oh, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Just remember before the Lord the ongoing challenge uh, of where the money comes from mm. and where it goes mm. as we think about the uh, vaccination system the boosters the flu vaccination uh, the treatment of people with COVID of whom there are hundreds today in Redditch And Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that you'll grant us grace to be very, very wise about um, health issues. We bring before you those people who um, have had treatments delayed and are still delayed because of the strain on the health service. And we pray that as money is allocated to the health service, that it can be wisely spent. We know that um, there are so many ways in which money could be spent. And we pray that we'll get the right priorities. We pray for advances in medical science, not merely um, to be able to produce cures, but to be able to produce um, drugs and cures better and cheaper so that they'll be available to more and more people and more and more nations. Lord, in your mercy. Hear yeah, our prayer. Lord, I'm struck that there's the investment in healing, but also investment in ourselves, in who we are, that we may be um, fitter and healthier. That comes to, to us in our physical lives, in our spiritual lives. It would help our health service to be that, a health service rather than a disease treatment service. Lord, help us, our churches, not to be hospitals of the broken alone, but to be places where we can be fitter and healthier in our spiritual lives. So, Lord, we pray for the many challenges we face in looking at what can often feel like infinite demand and finite resources. Lord, how you must smile as the abundant God that you are. So, Lord, bless us this day as we seek to navigate our way um, practically and sometimes just in our thoughts through the time in which we're living. O oh Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Just bring before the Lord the... Um, political situations that we might not notice necessarily, but which are incredibly important to the people involved and uh, are very much threatening people's lives and livelihoods. We recognize that there are many dictators across the world and many regimes where freedoms have been curtailed and where people can just disappear. And it's easier to talk about that, to imagine oneself in that place and what one would do and how one would survive and how one would respond. We bring to the Lord those people who have been taken to the streets in protest in Sudan and all their, uh, their relatives and friends will be concerned about them, but who are passionate 
about the restoration of civilian government and of democracy. Mm. Bring before the Lord the ongoing challenge in Guinea. Uh, and uh, we pray that in both of those countries that free and fair elections will be possible uh, and that the timetables that have been theoretically promised, will indeed be delivered so that these things may happen. And we do pray that in the meantime, that there will be no repression, crackdowns, violence and bloodshed, which would hamper the development of those nations, uh, threatening their economies and the not only just freedom of expression, but of course, the lives and livelihoods of, of many people subject to that repression. Mm. So Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for your holy and positive intervention to deliver the weak and the vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the situation in in smaller more vulnerable nations lord where there is a challenge and often a disconnect between the needs and desires of of the the more powerful nations and the needs and desires of the smaller nations lord we pray for your righteousness for your rule and reign a rule and reign that sees all people um, for who they are and for who you want them to be, not just as a resource. So, Lord, bless us in our interactions between weak and strong, between rich and poor. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We do pray for that. The Diocese of Guinea today, um, with the wider Anglican Communion and their bishop, Jacques, uh, Jacques Boston. As we've thought about that, that nation, the challenges they face today, Lord, we pray for your church in that place, that they may stand on your word, that they may stand in the power of your spirit. Oh, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Lord will continue to um, minister those about whom we're concerned and for, whom, for whom we are praying. And we bring before the Lord those people in our area who have become isolated, who lack support, or basically just simply have no one that's praying for them. We pray for them. We pray that the Lord will make himself known to them, that they will remember to reach out to him, recognize that there's a lot of cynicism and skepticism and, and that God may have got the blame for things for which he was not responsible. While other people write him off with one part of their brain and in another compartment, they're desperately seeking his love. Lord Jesus Christ, you are God of infinite wisdom and mercy. Speak into the hearts and lives of those who are far off. And when they hit crisis, Lord, grant them grace to find you and then to stay with you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your church as we seek to minister to those around us in the context in which you've placed us. With our diocese today, we're continuing to pray for the, the churches and situations of the Malvern Chase team. Today, we think of their messy church and for toddlers groups as they restart for the food bank and for 
Mulvan's Christians Against Poverty branch. Lord, we thank you for all of those ways of reaching out into the wider community. May you bless them. Also pray for them uh, and for ourselves. Uh, I think in, as in many churches, we seek to discern new service patterns and ministry in the community, in our communities. Pray particularly for them in doing that at All Saints in the Mulvan Chase team. Lord, may you bless their readers. Peter Buchanan, Jackie Green and the clergy of that team. <coughs> Bruce, Peter Myers, Paul Hunt and Helen Wilkinson. Lord, we pray for them and for all of the lay leaders involved in all of those initiatives that we've prayed for. Lord, may you bless them and keep them. Hold them close to you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, as we step into this day, may you go before us, may you guide our steps, guard our words, be with us in our thoughts, that we may know your love with us this day. So God, our maker and redeemer, we pray you of your great mercy and by the power of your holy cross to guide us by your will and to shield us from our foes. That after the example of your servant Alfred, we may inwardly love you above all things through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Richard. For those of you that hadn't spotted it, the, so Alfred popped up because we were remembering Alfred the Great. King of the West Saxons, and also a uh, discussion about pronunciation, but said uh, Abbot of uh, Lustingham, and also uh, related to the East, the East Saxons. So there we go. Um, well done, Richard, with the reading. That, those this this part of John's Gospel is quite dense, isn't it? It's it's <laughs> massive, long paragraphs. Of <laughs> interweaving narrative of interweaving prose which is quite difficult i think it's one of those things isn't it the, you john's style is very very dense he does have some great narrative episodes that are quite dramatic like the woman at the well or the man born blind mm. but then both here and in the first epistle of john you get these very dense passages which you really, it's, you can't have, you, 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 you can't have much of it at once, you know, it's, it's very rich and, 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 you know, it's one of those foods which tastes great, but if you have too much of it, you're very quickly overwhelmed. Yes, and, and often I go into bear of little brain mode and I'm going, I've sort of got it, but <laughs> <laughs> I've got it, but it keeps going round and round in, in ever in, in it reinforcing circles doesn't it and and i i mean in the in the often i think we've just have we just done this we've just had in trinity we had the whole thing about the bread i am the bread of life yes and in the in the lectionary it goes on for weeks on end <laughs> and, and yeah. you, you go oh i'm sure we've done this already um 
but it, sometimes it's necessary, isn't it? That pushing in is necessary. And for those of us that don't have those sorts of brains, it, it can be quite painful, but sometimes it's quite needful, isn't it? To keep circling around uh, the same topic. Um, it's fascinating. Yeah. Well, fascinating. it's true. And I, I, honestly, I, I find in my preaching that there have been the whole periods in my life where I've been given, I kind of think, I think I've been preaching this before, but I've done the same theme, the message, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times over a period and then found that elsewhere in the country other people have been doing pretty much the same thing. And then, mm. we, well, then we sort of move off into something else. And, you know, the Lord, he likes to underline and emphasise some things more than once because he knows we need it <laughs> like that. Yes. Yes. You well, know, uh, Mark's gospel is a, a fine example of that, isn't it? The, the, those closest to Jesus are the ones that don't get it. And, and so often we don't get it because we're so distracted by other things. We, we, we're very much Martha, aren't we? We are, we are um, concerned and, and, and anxious about many things. And, yeah, that was, and, I, yeah, I heard this very powerful story, actually, of somebody, a very key Christian leader who'd done wonderful things, uh, including, you know, all sorts of great ministries and lists I'm not going to give you now. And then she just had a, a sabbatical. And the very first thing that God said to her was exactly that. Martha, Martha, you're worried and upset about many things. Mm. And, uh, you know, there's this tendency, isn't there, we can all have a feeling that it relies ultimately on us mm. and not on God. Mm. Yes. And, and sometimes all, yes, yeah, sometimes I, I'm very conscious at the moment. Sometimes all we need to do is take the step, take the, take the step and he will guide the next step. We, we don't mm. have to worry about the overall route. He, he stopped that. Um, but it's still quite hard. <laughs> it's very hard. I'm a planner. And, and, yeah. and, you know, very much having the Lord restrain me to stop me from, from overthinking things. Mm. Yes. And, 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 and one way to stop you is it's effectively, it, it's uh, I just in that moment, just thinking it's like being blindfolded. You, you, mm. you can take the next step because you can feel the comfort of, of being guided into that next step, but you can't see where the next one is. Mm. And you know that there's a whole heap of holes <laughs> and you have to trust that together we, we can hold, we can hold each other and we can move into a future that is not yet charted. Mm. And um, mm. I, it's just, yeah. It, and, and, and it's hard to balance that need to explore what that might be whilst just trusting. And it's, it's, it's that balance is tricky to strike and get right. So, mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> jolly good <laughs> wonderful anyway it's yeah. good to have you back with us richard and um and it's good to have uh, of course up with uh, a couple of you a couple of three of you uh live thank you for that for joining with us uh, marvelous to have people alongside us um in this and um pray too for those also who those of you who catch up with us later on youtube etc so um thank you do join with us in the remainder of the week and uh, we look forward to being with you as ever. Have a great day. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Paul. Bye for now. Bye.